Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Today, the opening verse in our first reading is very interesting. It looks as if that the opening verse that we have in our first reading was like the disciples were given territories to take care of. So while Apollos was in Corinth, St. Paul was going around and he was able to reach Ephesus. It looks as if they shared the territories where each of them would go and work. They divided the labor among themselves. This is a very, this is a very beautiful introduction to how the community is supposed to be. The people of God, how we are supposed to be. Everybody has a part to play in the community of God. But in playing our part, Jesus reminds us in the gospel reading that you will have a lot of troubles in the world. I'm going to ask all of us here a very interesting question. Have you ever experienced trouble in the world before? I can imagine that all of us here in this church, in one way or another, we have our own troubles. But Jesus goes further to say, have courage. How do we have courage? We know that it is a gift of the Spirit that we call fortitude. Pero, how do we develop fortitude? How do we develop courage? Because it's not all of us here who are very courageous. There are certain situations when we find ourselves in Seguro, we would run away. We will not be able to face those situations very well. How do we develop our courage? I give a typical example. If you have isang bata, if you have a little child at home, if the caregiver goes out from the room where the child is, the child will cry. But you have some children who have had very good intimacy bond with their caregivers to the extent that even if the caregiver goes outside the room where the child is, the child will not cry because the child has very good intimate bond with that caregiver or that person. One of the ways to develop the courage that we have is to experience a very intimate relationship with God. And I'm saying this with all confidence because all of us, we know this and we have experienced it before. If you have very intimate relationship with someone, even if the person is a human being just close to you, there is a sense of confidence that you develop in that person. That if the person is with you, you are masaya. You are happy. Minsang nakikileka. Minsang you feel a certain sense of joy if the person is with you. The same experience we, we have with God that when we have a very intimate relationship with God, we develop deep down within us a sense of courage. And that starts from baptism. I don't know all of us here, the day we were baptized, if we have memories of that. When I was baptized, I remember it was evening, around 6 p.m. When we were in the queue going to be baptized, somebody who was part of the PPC wanted to kick me out wanted to send me out from the queue that I should not be baptized that day. Why? Because my parents were not going to church for about eight years. So you can imagine eight years they were not going to church. 
So when they saw me in the queue, it was like, Bakit nandito siya? Why is he here? Because his parents don't come to church. Then someone said that that is my godson, so they should allow me to go and have my baptism. I am sharing this story just to remind all of us that we should go back to the baptism that we had. Because when Paul asked them, did you receive the Spirit when you were baptized? And they said no. Nagulachia. Paul was surprised that they have been baptized, but they never received the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you go to certain parishes, certain barrio, you celebrate Mass, and it looks as if the place is dead. There is no apoy, there is no fire in those barrios when you go for Misa. And it's not only in the barrios, sometimes you go to some places, you celebrate Mass, and it looks as if you will have the feeling that parang walang apoy, parang there is no fire around. We Catholics, we know that once we are baptized, we receive the Spirit in a very powerful, strong way that motivates us for mission. So today, I am inviting all of us to think about the gift of the Spirit because we don't normally talk about the Spirit. It looks as if we have boxed the Spirit, the work of the Spirit, in a very simple way. Pero, tayong lahat, all of us, we have the Spirit in a very powerful way that motivates us to do little things in bigger ways. So I'm inviting all of us as we are preparing for Pentecost, the same way that Paul asked the people, did you receive the Spirit when you were baptized? I am asking all of us the same question. Let us go as we celebrate this Mass to rekindle ourselves to see where the Spirit is inviting us to go back and to bring that fire that we received when we were in baptism. In the world, you will have courage. To the Spirit that we get courage. Bless us and bless all the intentions that we have for today.